In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can screenshot a website really quickly using this Chrome extension. This will work on Chrome or Brave, of course. Um, I don't have a suggestion for Safari or any other browser, but if you're interested, I'd be happy to do some research. So just comment down below if you want me to make a video on that. But this plugin is free and you can add it straight into your browser and you can export the website as a PDF or a PNG and you can get some really high quality screenshots of your website really quickly. So let's go ahead and take a look. The extension is called Fireshot and I'll put a link down below. You can go ahead and add that to your browser and it just lives here up with your extensions. So I'm gonna jump to a website that we can use as an example and I'll just go ahead and find it and you'll see there's a couple options. You can capture a selection, which is pretty similar to just taking a screenshot. You can capture the entire page, the visible parts of just what the browser window is showing, um, or again, you can capture a selection. I think they just put the most recent tool up here. And so I'll go ahead and capture the entire page and you'll see it, it just keeps scrolling down to the bottom so that everything loads and that it captures the full uh, website. And what's cool is it'll actually stitch that all together for you. And so you'll see the entire website has been added here and there's no cutoff. It just saved everything um, stitched together. And then if you save that as a PDF, it actually will create uh, these separate pages or you can create uh, a image out of that and you can change that between a JPEG or a PNG. And then you also get some options to share it. But what's really nice is that these PDFs aren't super big. Uh, of course, this depends a lot on the size of the website, uh, how long the website is. Um, but for the most part, they come out to be pretty small. Um, and you can always compress them using a tool like Tiny, uh, or rather, I love PDF or Compress PDF. Um, but I've just brought this up here. I'll pull it in here. And you can see this is pretty high resolution. This is about three and a half meg, so not super large. Again, you can compress it, um, but you could scroll through the whole website and see everything loaded. Uh, one thing to look out for is every now and then, you know, something might not load. I believe if we go to the actual website and look at this section down here, you'll see there's probably some illustrations. So the reason that happens is if you don't actually load it yourself first, um, and that's because a lot of websites these days have animations, specifically this one, um, so that they only show up once you scroll to that point. So if it is a long web page, just be sure to scroll to the bottom first um, and then capture everything. So if I ran it again, I'll say capture entire page. Now when it gets to that section, uh, those attachments have been loaded and now you can uh, see that updated in the picture. So that's just one thing to look out for. Um, another thing is that you can uh, resize the browser using another tool, um, something like Window Resizer. Uh, or if you have a tool like Screencastify or Loom, sometimes they have a resizer tool built in. Um, so you can kind of steal that if you already have that installed. That way you can show what your design uh, or website would look um, on a mobile device or whatever device uh, you want. And that's what's really helpful about using uh, this window resizer tool is they have all these presets for you for desktop and laptop, tablets, and you know mobile devices, or you can always put in a custom uh, resolution. But if you jump to any one of these, it's gonna resize the entire website. And now you can see uh, what the site looks like in those dimensions. And so I found this tool to be really helpful um, in just kind of capturing those end results for our clients. Um, oftentimes we have to make uh, case studies, uh, whether for the client or for ourselves, just for our own portfolio. And it's really easy to just jump into this tool and capture that whole thing. Um, and then when you're bringing it into some sort of mock-up tool, you have the entire high resolution website. You don't have to sit there taking manual screenshots that all end up being different dimensions. This is kind of pixel perfect. Um, and it's all in one place in one attachment. Hopefully that was helpful. If so, be sure to like and subscribe and leave me any comments if you have suggestions for videos or you know any issues with this plugin um, or any similar tool. What are you using uh, with your Chrome extension library? I'd love to know. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.